How to Assemble the Hausman Power Parallel Bars, Model 1357. Remove the vertical crating wood and packaging from around the parts, but do not unbolt or remove the parts from the skid. We'll do that later. Unwrap the platform and retrieve the instruction sheet from the folder. Follow along the printed instructions as we go through the video. With assistance to hold the platform, remove and discard the safety rope that prevents the platform from falling over. Then, carefully lift the platform off the skid and lay it down on the floor. Prep the platform by disconnecting the wires. Flip open the safety caps and unplug the plug from the socket. Unbolt one barring mechanism from the platform and discard the nuts and washers. With assistance, lift the mechanism off the skid and place it next to the platform. Make sure the motor end is by the wires on the platform and the control tower is to the outside of the platform. Feed the wires up through the bottom of the control tower and carefully place the mechanism on the platform in the tow guard channel. The easiest way to do this is to tilt the unit to one side to access the hole in the bottom. Use caution when placing the unit to prevent catching the wires under the metal. Apply slight pressure on the wires to help guide them through as you lower the unit. Here's a closer view of that showing how the wires pass up through the bottom. Again, lightly pull on the wires to keep them from catching underneath, but don't pull hard enough to pull them out of the platform. Attach the control tower end of the bar mechanism to the platform with five bolts. You'll need to remove the grommet and the rocker arm to access the last bolt hole. Refer to the photo in the instruction sheet for the location of the bolt holes. One kind of sits inside the tower. Stick your finger in the hole in the side of the rocker arm to pop the grommet out. The T-handle wrench will grip the bolt for easy insertion into the hole. Attach the other end of the bar mechanism to the platform with four bolts. Be sure to tighten the bolts firmly. Repeat the process for the other side. Unbolt the unit from the skid. Pass the wires through the bottom and place the mechanism on the platform. Secure the tower end with five bolts. Don't forget the one through the rocker arm under the grommet. And secure the other end with four bolts. Make the wire connections in the control tower. Insert plug 2 in the upper control box, port number 2. Insert plug 4 in the lower control box, port 4. Make sure the plugs are pressed all the way in.
Make the wire connections in the short tower. Connect plug 2 and socket 2 and then close the protective cap. Then connect plug 4 and socket 4 and close the protective cap. Tuck the wires into the side of the tower. The bars need to be synchronized before use. Follow the printed instructions on the instruction sheet. Take a battery from the hardware box and put it in the cradle on the control tower. Press the green activation button on the left side of the tower and press the up and down controls all at the same time. Hold the controls until the bars stop moving and the display reads 000. Do this for both the height and the width controls. If everything is working properly, install the enclosure panels on the backs of the towers. The short tower is secured with six screws, the tall tower with ten screws. Use the Allen wrench provided in the hardware kit. Your parallel bars are now ready for use.